What I do want to get your advice on is I want to get your advice on how do you feel about Deontay Wilder versus Robert Hellenius. I did a video on it, but it wasn't a live video. Here's Robert Hellenius, by the way. 31 and 3. He's been stopped twice with 20 KOs. 38 years old, the Nordic Nightmare. If he gets knocked out by Wilder, that's some nightmare right there, right? Two big wins over Adam Kwanowski. Adam Kwanowski has since lost another fight, a third straight fight, against some Ali Demarezin on the undercard of Danny Garcia versus Jose Benavidez. Now, this is when I thought it was over for Robert Hellenius when he lost to the likes of Jared Washington. A guy of the pedigree of... Robert Hellenius should not be losing to Gerald Washington. That's the worst loss of his career. He lost to Dylan White, lost to Johan Duopan. I thought the Duopan joint was bad at that time, too. He had that controversial win over Derek Chisora. He had some shoulder injury issues and some promotional issues from, I'm going to say, about 2012 all the way up until about 2016 or so. He had promotional issues and injury issues. You know, he was being touted as being like a really good dude. But the problem I have with it is this. I really like the fight. It's supposed to be here. Let me pull up the uh, article. It's supposed to be on PBC on Fox pay-per-view in October. We first heard some trickling of rumors about the fight about a month or so ago. I believe I did like my first video. But the problem I have is I am just not a fan of fighters fighting sparring partners especially on pay-per-view like it's not like y'all just sparred once or twice like he was in his camp like and i understand fighters being each other's camps but he's been like a well-known deontay wilder sparring partner for years now so it's supposed to be on pbc on fox pay-per-view Expect for it to be seventy four ninety nine. Expect for them to be there to be um, lead in prelims on Fox Sports or regular Fox, and that's the only time seemingly Fox is doing any type of shows on regular TV, as if it's like a prelim to a pay per view. Of course, Wilder lost two straight fights to Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is horned himself out to try to fight um, the dude who punched Tia Fimo in the in the chest. The Mountain from Game of Thrones. Been trying to get a fight with Chisora. Tyson Fury, let me tell you something. Thanks for the uh, super chat. Was that Optimus? I don't know why it didn't pop up. Well, thanks for the super chat, bro. Um, No, I like the fight. I like the fight. I like the fight. I like the fight. For a comeback fight for Deontay Wilder. And remember, he's coming off of two wins over Adam Kwanowski. I like the fight, but it's just that he's a sparring partner. Oh, and also it's supposed to take place in Brooklyn in the Barclays Center. But how would you rate this fight, though? On a scale of 1 to 10 in the chat, let me know on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this fight? I'm going to rate it. It's not an 8. That's too close to a 9, which is close to a 10. I'm giving it a 7. I'm giving it a 7. It's a low seven, but I'm giving it a seven. And yes, I'm afraid that I don't think Hellenius is going to take a dive. But remember what happened the last time Deontay Wilder fought a, a known sparring partner. He fought Malik Scott. And Malik Scott being from Philly, Malik Scott broke my heart. I think Malik Scott took a dive. I think Malik Scott took a dive, and I'm not the only one. Then lock me up. Now, I'm guessing it's expected for the winner of Deontay Wilder versus... Um, I remember this next fight I'm talking about is also on PBC on Fox, too. I'm, it's safe to say that the winner of Wilder versus Hellenius, especially if it's Wilder, is going to fight the winner of Andy Ruiz versus Luis Ortiz, which is taking place on September the 4th, which is a Friday. So you got September the 4th. Andy Ruiz taking on Luis Ortiz, PBC on Fox pay-per-view. You have um, Abner Maris taking on, what is it, Miguel Flores. The card is down below in the description box. Let me see. You got Isaac Cruz taking on Eduardo Ramirez. Abner Maris taking on Miguel Flores. And Jose Rayo Venezuela taking on Jezreel Corrales. I like that card.
Then on October the 15th, also on Fox, you have Deontay Wilder taking on Robert Herlini. So I'm guessing sometime in April, we can see Deontay Wilder versus Andy Ruiz. And maybe this is PBC trying to leverage a new contract with Fox to be like, you know, like, all right, look, you know, we'll give you Andy Ruiz versus Deontay Wilder on pay-per-view because their contract is supposed to be up with Fox. This is well known. This is not, it's supposed to be up with Fox at the end of this year. And it's been rumored for a long time that Fox wasn't happy with the quality of shows that PB was putting on their regular platform. Remember, they cut some really, really good build up content and shoulder content. I really like PBC face to face. Like when they would sit down, you know, the one with Jamel Charlo and Tony Harrison was epic. You know, I really, I really miss those, you know, and the one with Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz when he asked Luis Ortiz, like, are you really the age that you say you are? And, you know, do you got your blood pressure pills? They cut inside PBC boxing. So the PBC Fox deal is in trouble. And that's why you've been seeing a lot of fighters not being able to get dates. And you've been seeing um, multiple PBC fighters openly talking about how they're not getting dates. For example, you got um, also Keith Thurman, who's been wanting to come back in October. And now and he was on the PBC podcast not long ago talking about how the gate, the dates keep getting pushed back for him. And to PBC, Keith Thurman is a pay-per-view fighter. You know, he just fought on pay-per-view in February against Mario Barrios. So you would expect for him to come back. It's going to be on pay-per-view. So let's look at the pay-per-view schedule right now. You know, and this is the P and, and, and PBC don't like putting on two pay-per-views in a month if they if they don't have to so already in september we got two pay-per-views albeit one is um on a lower price but in september you got andrew ruiz luis ortiz then two weeks later you know a little less than two weeks later you got um canelo versus uh golovkin three october supposed to be wilder versus hellenius november supposed to be spence versus crawford december supposed to be tank versus whoever and then they're going to repeat this, the process. So don't be surprised if you see Thurman now again at the beginning of the year fighting God knows who. A wild card would be able to see Thurman versus um, uh, Tank Davis. I would bust enough for that. But I do believe that they're, they're, they're shooting for Wilder versus Andy Ruiz sometime, you know, next year. And that's going to be a big one. And it's some big money for both fighters involved in that because Luis Ortiz, I mean, not Luis Ortiz, Andy Ruiz is in a situation where he commands so much money from PBC that his fights have to be on pay-per-view. And that's one thing I don't like about what these promoters and these networks have been doing, more so the promoters. They guarantee these fighters all this money that the fighters can't really generate. So therefore, they, they make them like, oh, well, let's make the fans pay for it. Put this shit on pay-per-view. You know, that shit trash to me. You know, it's a bullshit, flawed logic. You know, but either way, you know, I'm interested in Wilder versus uh, Robert Herlinius. You know, and Robert Herlinius does have the skill set to beat Deontay Wilder because he can box. The problem is Robert Herlinius don't got no chin. You know, like even if he does get buzzed, he does like crazy little dances. You see what I'm saying? 